everyone, it's Bloom here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Clock Tower the First Fear. This is going to be a walkthrough on how to get the H ending. Um, probably going to be the shortest video. This or the G ending. They're about the same and about the same length. The requirements for this ending are that you see one and only one of your friends die. It can either be Laura or Anne. And then, as Sonic would say, you get out of there. And that's the ending. That's how you get the ending. Definitely the easiest one to get. It is also the worst ending, as you will see. Um, I think first I'll show you Anne's ceiling death, but we gotta free up a hiding spot first. The lights are out. I wonder where the light switch is. Um, next to the door, like in most rooms, unless it's the fucked up Clock Tower 2 house where the light switch is outside the bathroom for some reason. Oh my god, did you see that? Blood? That's what the horror- oh, the horror in this, this game is so good because it, it's very subtle, it's not always in your face. It's amazing how <laughs> Fumikono was like, I'm gonna make- one of the first horror games, and, like, instantly he gets it right with the way he does horror. It's empty. Now, if this box is empty, it means that the West Wing key will either- will be, um, in the bird's nest. Uh, and I will get that later. Well, not in this ending. We won't need it. Um, but if it's not in the box, it will be in, uh, the bird's nest. Uh, I don't know if it is dependent on uh, how many times you beat the game, or if it's completely random, but regardless, it's very easy to figure out. It's apparently broken, you think? like a nice, really comfy sofa. Doesn't actually look that comfortable, but whatever. I wonder if it's not being used. It's quite dark. I wonder what time it is now. There is a small bottle of perfume. It's the same as our teacher's, Miss Mary's. Got a bottle of perfume. Something or other. <laughs> What's with creepy music? There's a blanket. A parrot? on the blanket. That bird might be able to kill you. <laughs> so she just left it there to like suffocate, I guess. The bed on the left hand side doesn't seem to be used. It's very funny to me how uh, 
Well, Clock Tower uh, was um, inspired by the movie Phenomena, which is by Dario Argento, the same guy who did Suspiria. Um, uh, Jennifer's character is pretty much, like, taken from Jennifer Corvino, who is uh, played by Jennifer, Jennifer Connelly. Lots of Jennifers. Um and the whole thing about that movie is that she loves animals, especially insects, and you, she has a psychic connection to insects, and they help her investigate a murder um, and find a serial killer, and uh, a lot of the game is based around that. Um, Jennifer looks exactly like her. She doesn't really have much of a personality that is displayed in the game. Like, this this is definitely not a character-driven narrative, but... Uh, <laughs> I just find it very funny that, like, she, she, like, instantly kills a parrot <laughs> when, um, the Gen Jennifer Corvino's character was, like, so, I, I, I already examined this. So good with animals. Cough, cough, cough. If you don't do anything, if you don't panic, or if you are in the red, you die. It is a dead end. Sometimes the mirror can break instead. You can escape by pressing the, uh, tapping the action button, and that's called panicking. Um, I don't, I can't tell you what the panic button is, because it's gonna be different depending on what console you're using but that is one of the few ways that you can die that doesn't involve bobby the bed on the left hand side doesn't seem to be used i want to rest for a minute because we're about to get into a chase and uh you cannot avoid well, I guess you can with the pool death, because you just leave the room and it stops. You know what? We don't even need to... Dot, dot, dot. This is the scene that most people see, uh, because it kind of directs you into here. If you have not seen Anne die uh, at this point... Um, then, if you uh, don't go to the sh shower room uh, and see that death scene, then you will see this death scene. It will come out and tell Bobby <laughs> that you're there. And Bobby will stab through the bed. It won't kill you. But you'll need to run away and find another hiding spot. I mentioned before that the uh, soundtrack was enhanced in this version. And that's definitely true for a lot of the sound files. Like, uh, some, some of the music and... Uh, definitely the voice clips they actually sound like voices um it's not true for the chase theme at least uh not in my opinion um definitely 
definitely does not sound as good as the Super Nintendo version. Now, none of this is necessary for the H ending. I'm just showing you as much as possible. I mean, not the H ending. Wait, yes, yes, the H ending. The water seems to be running. I don't want to, though. Even if I needed to, I still don't want to go. She's going to hold in her pee the, the entire time she's here. Good. I seem to be able to use the shower. All that running. Time to get time to get in the shower. We can uh, afford to keep running. We're not going to face Bobby. I... I forget where the phone even is. It's not there. It might actually be in that room, but we can't get into that room yet. It's locked. So you go all the way to the end here after seeing one of your friends die? I think this might be an evasion point. some sort of key. It's a car key. Pocketed car ignition key. The car's ignition key is missing. With this car, I might be able to get away, but everyone else is... What should I do? Hmm, it seems like the game really does not want me to, uh, leave. Maybe it's warning me about something. Nah. Click on it three times with the key. Just rams right through there. And that uh, that was Clock Tower, everyone. I guess uh, Jennifer's safe. Uh, so the credits are gonna roll. This is the absolute worst ending. I guess G, G ending is also worse, but uh, the game just ends right here. Uh, so, um, thank you for watching my walkthrough of the H ending. Uh, I really love the next scene. I don't understand why... The it's kind of like, like, the game is gonna punish Jennifer for, like, leaving her friends, but honestly, what is she gonna do? The smart thing to do would be to drive out of there and get help. This is normally the part where I give my review of the game, but I can't really do that based based on just the H ending. I do love the artwork at the end. And well, well here here is good too. 
Like they made they made it look damn good for a Super Nintendo game. It looks better than the PlayStation game that was uh, released later on. The PlayStation Clock Tower looks like shit. But this game still looks amazing, especially with different kinds of filtering. Such a good image. I love it. It's like that old urban legend. <laughs> 